The seventh task force meeting was conducted on July 6, 2018. IFAS agenda, with the support from Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, or DFAT, organized DPO's coordination meeting on July 5, 2018. We have interviewed the participants of DPO's coordination meetings for you to watch. Take a look on our conversation with Carolyn Dagani, the Philippines Federation of the Deaf Philippines. What is your perspective about the Asian Enabling Master Plan? It's really very important because this is our opportunity for us with disabilities to be more empowered and it would strengthen us all the disability groups in every ASEAN member state and we improve the lives of everyone. What role do you think DPOs can play to support the implementation of the ASEAN Enabling Master Plan? Uh, for us DPOs, uh, we need strong leaders who are knowledgeable of, of different frameworks, the Asian strategy, the UNCRPD, the SDGs, and so that they can contribute more and explain in detail if, if questions arise and make sure that we work together as a team for us to be recognized and whatever problems we may have or encounter during the process, we, we should be supporting each other for a better future. How will DPOs use the Asian Enabling Master Plan 2025 to advocate for greater inclusion of people with disabilities? Um, it's important that, of uh, course, there should be training, prior, and whatever we learn from the different frameworks, whether international, national, or ASEAN, we implement it in the different countries, collaborate, engage, and do the best, probably the best practices. And of course, monitor, always relate, engage with governments, with our respective governments, regardless of gender, religion, um, ethnic group. What challenges do you think DPOs and the government, also stakeholders, will encounter when implementing the master plan? Um, most in general, most probably financial or the budget, budgetary concerns. Of course, uh, we, we still have the attitudinal barriers that society would find difficult to, to see from our end. So uh, until these, um, these are realized, people would understand how we feel. Uh, we don't need their charity or their uh, mercy. We are equals, we stand as equals. It's important that we collaborate and strengthen each other for a better future. What improvements or changes you would like to see happen to ensure persons with disabilities are being included in all aspects of life? Uh, my, I believe, uh, because we said that ASEAN, that all the ASEAN member states have already ratified the UNCRPD and we have the SDGs. Uh, and then, and the, of course, the ASEAN Master Plan for 2025. It's important that everyone is accountable. We work together. We, we find ways to discuss, work together, open, and listen to each other. Make sure that there is agreement and we work in Minnesota so that we have a better future. Uh, we have a better life, not just for us, but for children. And we remember that uh, we started with, with, with difficult, uh, more challenging uh, opportunities. Before, there were more barriers, and our goal is to lessen, take off these barriers, lessen poverty, everyone have with the minds and have a better society.